Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today a WLED video and today Air Cookie finally released another beta version of the 14 series Beta 4 Hoshi now Beta 3 for me was very buggy it kept crashing and uh, the presets kept causing it to crash and reset so let's see if any of these have been fixed so I'm just having a quick look through the change log see if there's anything um, of interest so various bug fixes scrolling text improvements that's always good so excellent so let's get an update my version that's still on beta 3 from the last video so security and updates manual OTA update you can see now release 14.0.b4 so we've downloaded the bin file I'm using the ESP8266 Obviously, you download the correct bin file for your um, chip you're using. So it's rebooted, it's come back online. Let's have a look, see whether it's taken. So I'll just go to manual OTA update again and install version 14 beta 4. Excellent. So let's see if we can spot anything visually that's different, and everything at the moment looks as you would expect but the menu does seem to be a lot a lot quicker and a lot more responsive so i'm just going through some of the effects now i'm using eight by eight panels here and i've got three of them as um, per the last video so i'll just check in they're still working so that's all working good and of course with the um scrolling text you need to enter enter a name for your segment and your scrolling text will respond to that. Hopefully is that, that it's made it so we can add more characters in there. So we'll just find scrolling text, which is there, click it on, and there we go. There's our scrolling text. As from last time. Now we can speed it up a little bit and what have you. So everything seems to be working and the menu system does seem to be a lot faster. So we're going to have a play with something different now. So I've got these 16 by 16 panels this time and we're going to see if we can get these working. Now I know I had a load of hassle last time with the 8 by 8s with the orientation and the way they work. So let's give it a go see if we can get these working. These were quite cheap AliExpress so so there we go, well, I've managed to get one working, which did take quite a bit of time, but here's how I did it. So for a start, LED preferences, we've now got 256 LEDs and 2D configuration. So how to set it up. So first, I selected one LED because that should light the first LED in the chain. So if we look at it now, it's now lit bottom left. So we know the first LED now is bottom left. Obviously you could just turn the panel round, but for me, you can orient, you can set this up however you wish. So bottom left, orientation, horizontal, and also now we need to set, set the LEDs again, so 256, lights up the whole panel, and it is quite bright, and draws quite a lot of current. Now one important thing was serpentine. Now if we have a look at the, down below, you can see the LEDs go from left to right, they go down in like a snake. And this is one of the things there to switch on for this panel because that's how the LEDs must be arranged on the panel. So some of the effects look absolutely amazing on 16 by 16. So we'll just have a quick look through some of these and yeah, absolutely fantastic. This um, WLED software has come so far in the last few years. This is absolutely brilliant and considering the amount of space it's um, actually taking up 
inside the um, ESP8266. It's amazing, it really is. There must be some really good code optimization going on in here. So there's our 16 by 16 panel working. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't do it justice. So we'll put in some scrolling text. And then we can alter the speed of it. Alter the size of the font. And there we go. Absolutely excellent. So well, why stop there? Why stop there? Why have one panel when you can have two panels? So let's try and get two panels working. So for this, we switch it off because my board there has got relays on that isolates the power. So luckily we've got in and out on these panels. So we find which one's in and connect it to the out on the other panel and we'll feed it with its own power as well because 512 LEDs is going to draw a lot of current. So if you're going to be using multiple panels, I would suggest that you power each panel with the power um, leads that are supplied on the rear. So I'm just going to hook these up to my bench power supply and supplying 5 volts. Let's see if we can get them working. So there's my original one. Now I've had to turn it around, so we're going to change the orientation of it all. So we're going to change to one LED. Let's move it into shot. So if we change it to one LED, put it on solid, we can now see that the LED is now top left. So we can now set the orientation in the software. So we've got 2 times 256, so five, 512. So that's panel 1 on. Now there's a couple of other settings as well for two panels. So into 2D configuration. So panel 0. So now we need to go top left, which is correct now. Now orientation horizontal, now width and dimensions. So obviously we've got a width of 32 and a height of 16 now. Because we've got two panels, and sure enough both of them are lit. And it looks like both of them are working, absolutely excellent. So we'll just have a, have a look at the scrolling text. So the scrolling text is acting strangely. So because we've changed the panels round, we forgot to change um, the direction of the LEDs. Now you can see they're going up and down, not left and right now, the LEDs. So we've got to change our orientation to vertical, which now addresses the LEDs correctly and shows them correctly. And whilst I'm working on this menu system, it is very, very quick and very snappy. There's no, um, there's no thinking about it or any lag or anything like that. It's very, very responsive. It's absolutely fantastic. So there's a um, an LED listening to music. Very nice air cookie. Very nice. So I'm just gonna bring the exposure down a bit so we can see it a bit better on this camera. Unfortunately this camera doesn't do it justice. But yeah, an interesting animation there. Okay, let's have a look through the rest of the menu, see if there's anything we can spot. So obviously synchronization button if you've got other units in there and we've got all the synchronization settings. Now the peak yeah, that might be, might need a bit of work. 
So we've been into LED setup, we've been into 2D configuration. Everything is as we as we expected. The sync interfaces you can segment and have one master controller and segment them and set up your MQTT in there as well. There's obviously DMX and yes, yeah, very, very versatile this. Obviously the security and updates, which we've been in. Nice option there to back up your configuration. So all in all, very, very, very nice software. Very nice indeed. So let's have a look at some of the options that we have. So I've switched over to another camera and I'm just going to scroll through some of the 2D settings. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick WLED video on the new release that dropped today. Thanks Air Cookie for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Patreon, buy me a coffee. And thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.